Yes, people, as it relates to crime, and we know that there are various elements that are responsible for causing crime in the country, but it seemed to me like we are very much um, misdirected because anytime there is a crime situation or an upsurge in crime, it seemed to me that for the most part, the populace, the, the mentality is that the, <laughs> the, the prime minister, the government is responsible for, um, for abating crime. But I think what we have now is a situation and a system where people are trying to blame the wrong set of people. Principally, we should know that um, crime begins at your very household. And if it is that, for example, that you have a child at your house who is committing crime, the principal person responsible for abating that crime is the parents of the child. The parents are the principal persons responsible for preventing or crime prevention in the country. But you do not hear people talking about those things. Invariably, everybody wants to blame the prime minister and sometimes they want to blame <laughs> the system. Who's the system that you're blaming? You are part of the system. I am part of the system. So who it is that you're blaming? You get people, the, um, the main enablers of crime are the ones who come on television and saying how people are good boys. Who is to be blamed? Who is to be blamed? Keep the fire burning. It is a situation where the whole society is responsible. From your house, crime starts at your home, your school, your community. What did we say? The teachers, and when you look at it, children spend most of the, of the day in the presence of the teachers. And yet you have instituted laws, you have instituted um, policy and procedure to forbid the, um, the teachers from disciplining your children properly. The teachers are the ones who spend most of the time with the children and yet still you do not want the, children, the teachers to discipline them. Then in the wider community, you do not want people to talk to your children. So what do you expect at the end when you do not have time to supervise them? Some of you, some of the people the, who are the parents of these children probably are probably sometimes 14 years older than them, 15 years, 16 years, 17 years older than them. They themselves are children trying to raise children in a very hostile environment. So what do we have? What do we have here? The very people, the very village, the very community who's supposed to um, raise the children, right now you're trying to tie their hands and then you think you're going to have peace in, this, in, the, in, in, the, um, in the city. Then all you do is blame governments. Blame governments, blame the system, blame everybody. But yet the, the main, the core people who are responsible for upholding um, discipline, you do not want them to discipline your child. Keep the fire burning.